This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. It's uh, interesting. Meltzer would say the plan here is to make Styles the focal point of the X division, and it was noted here many months ago. It was always planned for when TV started. Styles himself is happy with it because he feels he can do the kind of matches he wants better with those opponents. It shows a totally different mentality than WWE or even WCW during the cruiserweights peak. In those companies, the mentality was the cruiserweight division limited you to lower mid card status and smaller guys of that size, such as Eddie Guerrero, Chris Jericho, and Chris Benoit, and even later Rey Mysterio. Certainly in WWE today, the cruiserweights are a joke. If Bruce Pritchard or others doesn't get the division killed by creative, the booking has already set it up for the same result. Fans have been conditioned to not think it's of any importance. This does give TNA a style and concept of its own, which is good. In Japan, there have been several companies like Michinoku Pro, Osaka Pro, etc., who've built around smaller guys. They are not gigantic successes, but they've survived by giving fans a style that the big companies don't concentrate on but they are not at the level where the wrestlers are making big money working for them. So I like the idea that, Hey, we're going to make styles, the focal point, and he's going to be the face of the X division. Did you view the cruiserweights as, I don't know, mid card in WCW? Yes. In, in WCW, I did, but, but you know, again, context is King. You got the NWO, you got the four horsemen. You know, I was a big part of the four horsemen during that era, Conrad, but no, but you know, it, 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 it was a different time. The three hours of nitro or the two hours of nitro started off with action. Uh, many luchadors, you know, Conan, it was, you know, very innovative and in, in the new luchador, but it was positioned as in a lot of ways, mid card at best. I mean, at very best fast forward, 18 years, I. You know, and I can, man, I could probably give you three or four lines that I've heard a hundred times back in that day, but my, my father always used to have the mentality. Yes. Dundee was, uh, you know, he didn't do high flying stuff, but a little bit, but you know, my dad drew a lot of money with, with, with Dutch and, and Dundee and, you know, Ricky Morton and, and smaller guys, but yeah, that's, I always heard that as somewhat of wrestling philosophy and chatter. But my father would get into this discussion and he's the data guy like me. And, you know, we, we couldn't get exacts, but, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard, his box office at the time, you know, so it's Marvin Hagler, Ray Leonard, who's the third, oh, Duran, those guys set records. And so that, that's, that was like, yes, people will pay to see smaller guys that aren't as heavy if you position and promote them right that's why in every marketing meeting i always was as openly i I really press the fact that hey guys if we tell them their main event they'll believe it but if we tell them their lesson then that's what they're going to think so i always tried to position the x division even from day one on equal footing Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.